Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. After the successful completion of Harbour Acceptance Trial of the system, the Indian Navy will soon receive the third generation deep search and rescue vehicles. The two complete submarine rescue vehicles are to be delivered under a £193 million contract, which was awarded to a British firm in 2016. The systems will include the recovery and launch systems, and all logistics and support equipment, which are required to operate the deep search and rescue vehicles. Ben Sharples, the project director at James Fisher Defense has said, that the completion of the initial harbor acceptance trial, is an important step in the delivery of this contract. Also, a total of 72 Indian Navy personnel have also been trained by James Fisher Defence, at its facility in Scotland, to operate the vessels. In order to bolster its armoured capabilities, the Indian Army is moving ahead with a new proposal, which is expected to be worth over 2,200 crore rupees, for buying 150 infantry combat vehicles. According to sources, the proposal is going to be placed next week, before the high-level meeting of the Defence Ministry, headed by Defence Minister for approval. All the infantry combat vehicles of the Indian Army, were acquired from Russia, including the BMP-1, and the BMP-2, which have been acquired in different batches at regular intervals by the Indian Army. The strength of the Army's mechanised infantry battalions was recently increased by four battalions. The Indian Army is also looking at the prospect of acquiring a new futuristic infantry combat vehicle, which it wants to be given to its mechanized formations, to tackle the challenges and situations of the modern-day operations. According to the recent reports, the Indian Navy and Government of India, are considering a proposal floated by defense manufacturers, to use the Calvary class submarine as a foundation, to develop a new class of submarines, which will replace the imported content in the submarine with local alternatives, and other subsystems can also be used from the Arihant class project. The project 75i, has two main requirements, the first requirement is to equip the submarines, with the air independent propulsion systems, to enable them to stay submerged for longer duration, and the second requirement is to feature the vertical launch system, for enabling the submarines to carry the supersonic BrahMos, and other indigenous subsonic systems. Using the Calvary class submarine as a foundation for Project 75i, will reduce the total time required to manufacture the six submarines, and it will also help the public and private sector companies to gain more experience, before India can initiate Project 76, which is to be executed after Project 75i. With the onset of artificial intelligence, the prospects of development of autonomous systems, are increasing very fast. The fifth review conference of the CCW convention, has decided in its meetings, that it had decided to set up an open-ended group of governmental experts, who will closely examine, military and technological issues arising out of such autonomous systems. The major militaries also feel, that the autonomous system would increase the efficiency of operations. India needs to take knowledge of such technologies, like the artificial intelligence, and should develop capabilities in these areas. The Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, had arrived in India for a week-long visit, during which he will be holding talks with his Indian counterpart Prime Minister Modi. According to sources, Canadian investments in India were likely to decline, due to the absence of a mechanism to protect them. It is expected that both the Prime Ministers would discuss on making forward movement, in firming up the comprehensive economic partnership agreement between the two countries.